The tropics are getting even hotter tonight. We've been talking about three disturbances out in the Atlantic for a few days, and now a new potential system is adding to the activity. Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Brooks Garner joins us right now. So, Brooks, this new system is still far away, but we need to watch it closely. Absolutely. In fact, it's in a totally different ocean basin. It's still in the Pacific, but there's a little swirl off of San Salvador in the Pacific that's forecast to track northward over Central America and either emerge here in the Caribbean Sea or in the southwest Gulf of Mexico. Our latest Fox model, a run you can only see here on Fox 35. You can only get this model here and it's very accurate. It does a great job putting it near Cancun, that is the center of a circulation on the Yucatan Peninsula by Monday. And until Monday, we won't have specifics as far as where this thing may go because frankly, it hasn't formed yet and it may not survive its transit over Central America because there are tall mountains that could tear it apart. But that said, if it does survive, we'll have some issues next week. At the very least, a higher rain chance for next week. This week was mainly dry. Next week will be remembered, remembered as mainly stormy. Tropical storm may form next week in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, but it's too soon to declare a track because its exact impacts uh, cannot be determined based on the fact that it doesn't exist yet. Coming up, we're going to talk about it much more. We'll look at our future models. Uh, bottom line, John and Luann, is that this time of year, things can pop up very quickly. It's a reminder to stay prepared. And uh, if we do have direct impacts, it'll be this time next week. So it's a pretty short fuse.